If you don't have a smart TV, you may be wondering, how do I get my TV to work? In order to turn your TV into a smart TV, you will need a streaming device such as a Roku or an Amazon Fire Stick. You can purchase these online or you can purchase them from a local retailer. Everything you need for streaming live TV is in the Roku Streaming Stick Plus box. Your Streaming Stick Plus, remote control, AC power adapter, long range wireless receiver, batteries, and a quick start guide. Step one is getting you connected. First, find an available HDMI input on your TV. Be sure to note which HDMI input you choose so you can also tune your TV to the same source. Then, insert the streaming stick. If your streaming stick will not connect to your TV due to space restrictions, Roku offers a free HDMI extender cable. You can order this at my.roku.com forward slash HDMI. Now, on your TV remote, look for the button labeled input, source, or something similar. To toggle to the same input you use for the Roku Streaming Stick Plus, don't worry, you won't see anything on your TV screen just yet. Powering it up. Now, let's power up your Roku Streaming Stick Plus and remote. First, connect one end of the power cord into the stick like this. For the best experience, use the included power adapter to plug directly into a wall outlet. Or, as a secondary option, you can plug the other end into the USB port on your TV. In a few moments, the Roku logo will appear on your TV screen. Just in case it didn't, make sure the correct input is selected on your TV. Now, insert the included batteries. A light inside the compartment of your remote will start flashing, signaling it's ready to pair. After the Let's Get Started screen, your remote should pair automatically. But if it doesn't, press and hold the pairing button for five seconds. A light near the back will start flashing. Once successful, select your language. Now, let's connect your Roku to your network. Select your wireless network and enter your wireless password. Remember, your password is case sensitive. If all three checks are green, you're good to go. If a red X appears at any time, for troubleshooting, go to go.roku.com slash wireless. Your Roku will download the latest software so you get the latest features and channel updates automatically. After the player has downloaded the latest software, you'll be prompted to set your display type. Press OK on your remote and your Roku player will automatically determine the best resolution for your TV. If you can easily read this message, select Yes, screen looks good. Once it's been sent, you will see the activation screen. Now it's time to link your Roku player to your Roku account. Follow the on-screen prompts to activate and create an account for your Roku player. Finally, add some of your favorite mm -hmm. channels now so they'll be ready to stream on your TV. You can always add more later or remove any that you do not want. Then, scroll to the bottom of the page and click Continue to complete the activation process. On your TV screen, you'll see your selected channels getting added to your Roku player. This process takes just a few minutes.